and they're back again. Uh, another video here. Uh, probably going to be going into some non-economics videos here pretty soon. Um, but I would like to at least get through a couple more uh, in the meanwhile. Uh, primarily about economic fallacies, and these are really important to know about and be able to, if not refute outright, be able to at least argue against reasonably. Uh, the primary reason is a lot of the really bad economic policies that people usually promote are based on one or more of these fallacies. And crazy things like, well, the minimum wage must always put more money in the hands of people who spend it more. And uh, just, just all manner of, of silliness. And Well, if we just tax ever more, the government will have more money for social programs, and social programs are always good. And that's not really the case. Um, primarily, I'm, pr I'm going to be talking about what one economic fallacy actually is, and that's uh, Frederick Bastiat's broken window fallacy. The broken window fallacy is basically uh, imagine a shopkeeper who has a, a huge and really quite beautiful uh, large pane glass window, and someone comes along and for whatever reason uh, they throw a rock through the window and they break the window. They, they, they shatter it. Well, the a shopkeeper now has to uh, pay a glazier to make a new window. Uh, the glazier has to uh, pay his employees for the time of making the new window. And then he can go and they can all spend that on various other things. And there's an economic multiplier uh, that happens with all of this. And money is all spent, it circulates through the economy, and everyone's better off. The only problem with that argument is that it assumes that the shopkeeper of the broken window would not have otherwise spent his money on anything, anything whatsoever under heaven. Um, and that's not really what would happen. The shopkeeper would have otherwise used that money to possibly expand his business. He could have used it to buy goods and services for himself otherwise. And at the end of the day, he would have had the exact same money spent and the exact same amount of money would have circulated through the economy the only difference now is that he's down one window. Society lost one window worth of wealth, whatever that is. And that's the, uh, the broken window fallacy in a nutshell. But it presents itself in a lot of different ways. And I'll be making some videos uh, here kind of on other fallacies. But first I'm going to hit that one because I think it's the most prevalent. It's the least obvious and it can take a lot of different forms. And some other economic fallacies, I'm pretty sure, are actually just a rehash of the broken window fallacy.